Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning WooCommerce theme development tutorial. This is our part number 32. Inside this video session guys, we are going to see about modifying cart page. Now if I back to browser, go inside here. Now let's say that this is all about our product listing page. Click on add to cart or click on any of the product. It will go inside this single product detail page. Inside this, if I click on add to cart, it is going to add this product to the cart. Now here as we can see that here we will have a button called view cart. Now if I click on this button, this is now inside this cart page. But as we can see that inside this template, we will have index.php. It means that for this cart page, inside WordPress, there is no specific template. Now if I go inside here, go to pages section, click on the cart page. And inside this cart page, we can see that only we will have a sort code. By using this WooCommerce cart, we are displaying all the cart content. So there is no specific layout or there is no specific template for this WooCommerce cart page. So as we can see that this is not looking better. So how can we make this cart page as look as better? What we'll do, go inside this editor, themes, simple bootstrap theme. This is our custom folder. And right now it is using, means this page is using index.php. It means inside our theme, we will have not any page.php file. So what I will do, let's say that if I rename this file page old to page.php, open up this file and inside this file, these are all the contents like get header. Inside we will have, let's say that I am to remove all these things from here. So simply remove this and instead of this what I will do I am to define a article tag copy pasting it here get rid of all these things pasting it here and remove this class from here as well This is all about column D12. Now, what we have inside this page, we will have a container. It's a container. Inside this container, we will have a row. And inside this row, we will have a call MD12. It means a div with 100% width, occupying all the column grid value. Inside this, we are checking for any post if we will have then we, will, we need to go inside this while block and we will have the title as well as the content and inside this article we don't want any class for this h2 tag so get rid of that and also for this paragraph tag simply inside the container we have a row we have called md12 and the code we will have only to get the post and read and display inside this article element so if i save all these changes go here reload this page now as we can see that this time it is using page.php instead of using index.php because at that time we don't have any page.php file so that's why it is using the default fallback file that is index.php now inside this file it is occupying now 100% width if i inspect this cart page go inside this element section now here inside this code as we can see that we have a column d12 after that we will have an article tag inside this this is all about the title and we will have a div class WooCommerce which is displaying all the sort code codes means these are the elements which is rendered by WooCommerce underscore card sort code if we go here let's say that in your page.php 
it means if I get rid of this PHP tag from here remove this div class md12 pasting it here in your paste.php file there is, there is no div with the class call let's say call sm12 or call md12 now if I do so save this change reload this page now look at this now the page is totally distorted it is not occupying all about the 100% width so what we have to do either we can do to define here call md12 class or we are going to use or default provided like our WordPress class and that is something called class and simply call calls here now if I save all these changes go here reload this page and it is not working so go inside this code and if I inspect this page to go here this is all about article class calls if I remove this as from here and I think that actually we have done with the wrong class so it should be only call save this change reload this page now as we can see that we have the full width also if we want to do any CSS inside this page let's say that this is coupon code input type text box is not looking better what I will do if we increase the size of this box go here click on this and let's say that size equal to let's say 30 pixel or something inside this if I define the width and what I will do instead of 30 pixel let's say 100 pixel and this is now covering all the text what we had written inside this placeholder so what I will do if I copy this CSS either we can copy from here or we can click on this inspector style copy this CSS back here open up the file called style.css and inside this go inside bottom and let's say that this is the code what we have written inside this cart page so this is the CSS for cart page so pasting here and what it is doing it is going to give a width inside this coupon code save all these changes go and reload this page and it has actually not picked the CSS here if I inspect this coupon code and go here and search for our CSS and I think that actually our CSS has not been loaded again press Ctrl F5 and as we can see that now our CSS is working perfectly for this coupon code now if we want to change this apply coupon button so go here inside this button click on this plus icon what we want we want something let's say background equal to yellow and also we want something color equal to black and I think that our CSS is not applying here this is all about this it is inside this coupon and button if I again reload the page it seems that we are doing some wrong place CSS this is all about this coupon hover on this button and this is our button this is all about our card button means apply coupon if I click on this button code let's say background equal to yellow and this piece of CSS is not working over this button so I am getting rid of that what I will do scroll over this CSS and here we will have WooCommerce button so if you go inside this CSS this is the background color so if I get rid of that and instead of this color if I write let's say yellow now it has changed so what I will do if I copy all the code from here copy that back here and if I pasting it here and remove all the contents because 
we want to change only the yellow color. So save all these changes, go and reload this page and as we can see that now we have the apply coupon as our custom CSS. So all we have done with the modification of this card page where we have done with the layout like with the piece.php also we have created the 100% width and we have applied some piece of CSS. In the next video we will work with the account page. So inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.